Kobe Sportswear, Canadian owned and manufacturer of high quality sports apparel and sold locally by Nova Trophy. Now located in Bears Lake and celebrating 40 years of service. Stop by today to get your team dressed in Kobe's best. John Moore with 20-year-old Drake Batherson, Ottawa Senators prospect who's been training here at the BMO Center in Bedford uh, a lot of the summer. Drake, uh, tell me a little about, about the, uh, the training here in Bedford because you've been, uh, well, training with a pretty elite group. Oh, yeah, it's been an awesome summer, you know, training with some, you know, elite players and Sid, Nate, and uh, Marshall and those guys. And, yeah, for me, it's just driving up from the Valley every day, you know, training at 9 a.m. at uh, Pro Edge there and then coming to skate with these guys and, you know, done my day by 1230, so... No, the summer's been great and, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with my friends and family back home and looking forward to getting the season started. A great opportunity to, to train, as you mentioned, with Sid, Nate, and, and Brad Marchand. What do you take from that? Uh, obviously, you're out, you're out here with them closely, watching watching them, but what can you take away to, to make you a better player? Yeah, I think just, you know, watching the little stuff they do, you know, no matter what, you know, picking up passes or, you know, just doing little in-type plays, you just, you know, you're kind of amazed watching these guys every day. You know, I've been on with them three times a week the whole summer, and every day they're doing something different. So, you know, just uh, you know, picking stuff from their game and trying to you know implement it into my game. I think uh, that's been the biggest goal for me this summer, just trying to learn a lot from them and uh, getting that stuff into my game. Specifically, Sid, uh, you know, arguably the best player in the in the game today. Um, what is it that jumps out at you? Obviously, you've watched him from a distance, from afar, from being a young age. But what is it that jumps out? I think, you know, for me going against him in one-on-one -on -one battles, it's like, you know, trying to move a tree off the puck. Like, you can't, he's so, you know, he's got a, such a low center of gravity. And, you know, you're watching the NHL, the guys, you know, down low, it's tough for those guys to handle him down low, I think. And he makes, you know, such great plays. And, you know, he's got eyes on the back of his head. So I think, uh, you know, he just keeps it simple. And, you know, that's what amazes me the most. He's not too fancy, but, you know, he can make the fancy play when he has to. So yeah, that's probably what, uh, you know, strikes me the most out of him. Of course, Nathan McKinnon almost won the won the Calder this year, but uh, it, it looks to me as if he's even even picked up another stride. Oh, I know he's you know he's got lightning speed out here. You know, I try not to go against him in the one on ones because you know he'll embarrass me out here. But you know, it's great. You know, challenging you know against those guys on one on ones. You know, it's getting me faster, and yeah, it's you know cool watching those guys. You know, the speed they play at and the pace they uh, you know can control the puck at for sure. Most players want to get bigger and stronger in the summer. Uh, have you done that? And if so, where are you? Yeah, for me, it's been another big summer. I've put on, you know, around 12 pounds and, you know, grew, you know, probably around a half an inch. So, you know, it's a, another summer of growing for me. And I think, you know, that was the goal coming in. You know, my trainer, Pat Busby, I want to, you know, put on a big, uh, a bit of weight going into the season of turning pro. So there's some big guys there. So, yeah, definitely just put on some weight this summer and just getting faster and stronger. Rookie camp's coming, of course, followed by the, by the big camp. What are your objectives? What's your schedule? Yeah, well, the rookie camp will run for about four or five days there, and then we'll have, you know, four days off before the main camp. So, you know, I think going in for me, i got no really expectations. I just want to, you know, do whatever, you know, they want me to do and, you know, just play to, you know, the best of my capabilities, whether that's, you know, starting in the AHL or, you know, sticking with the big club. I'm just going in, no expectations, and see what happens. Have they, have they given you any indication? Have they, is there anybody reached out to tell you what they're expecting from you? Yeah, I've talked to the coach and a few of the management and just, uh, you know, little things they wanted me to work on this summer that, you know, could lead to me playing in the NHL possibly next year. So uh, that's that's the most I've, you know, focused on just my skating, you know, my speed and just, uh, you know, watching Sid and Nate getting stuff from their game and trying to get that into my game. And, that, you know, that's been the biggest thing for me this summer, just working on the little stuff and see if I can, you know, do that at the next level. You've had a strong summer, Drake. Thanks for this. We'll be following. Yeah, thanks, John.